Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to form an LLC in the state of Iowa. We'll be covering these seven steps in detail, but I do wanna say that it is kind of complicated and it could be quite a headache for you to do it all by yourself. That's why we recommend using an online platform like Northwest Registered Agent to do everything for you. They also give you a free registered agent for the first year, which we will get into a little bit later. And also later on in this video at this specific time code, I'm gonna show you guys the exact process on how you can use the platform to easily set up an LLC in a couple minutes. It's what we recommend to all of our friends since it's super affordable and it's really easy to use. And yeah, if you guys use the link down below, you guys are going to get access to an exclusive discount and you're going to help support the channel so that we can keep creating free content like this. So if you do use our link, I want to say thank you in advance. But now I'm going to go over all the steps that you need to take to set up your LLC in Iowa. Step number one is that you're going to want to name your LLC. But before you do this, you actually want to make sure that your name is available in Iowa. So if you guys use the link down below, you guys can conduct a state name search. This is going to allow you to see all the different names that are already taken in the state of Iowa. You're also going to want to make sure that your LLC name has an available URL. For this, you guys can just check online to see if your name is already taken with a domain name. But yeah, there's a bunch of other state naming guidelines for you to follow with the state of Iowa. So we'll leave a link down below for you guys to learn more about that. Now, step number two is you're going to want to file the Iowa LLC articles of organization. This is going to be done through Iowa's Secretary of State website, and the fee is going to be $50. Now, there's different ways that you can file this. You can either submit it online or you guys can mail it or deliver it in person. But we recommend doing it online because that's the easiest way. When you guys file the articles of organization, you're also going to want to decide on your management structure. So you have to figure out if your LLC is going to be member managed or if it's going to be manager managed. Member managed is basically where you, the member, are managing the entire company. And manager managed is where you go and hire a third party person or company to help manage your LLC for you. For most of you guys, your LLC is going to be member managed. But if you guys want to learn more about that, you guys can easily find more information on Google. The next thing that you want to consider is creating an operating agreement. Now, although this isn't required in the state of Iowa, Iowa, it is highly recommended. This is basically a legal document that outlines the ownership and operating procedures of your LLC. So this is basically going to establish all the different rules and all the expectations that you have with your employees. That way you can minimize any conflicts in the future. So some things that you're going to want to include in your operating agreement is going to be your organization structure, the management and voting structure, how you're going to handle capital contributions, distributions, member changes, and dissolution. So as you guys can see, this can be pretty difficult for a total beginner, which is why we recommend using a platform like Northwest Registered Agent to do everything for you. The next thing you're going to want to do is obtain the AIN number for your LLC. And this is also known as the federal tax identification number. This is basically the social security number for your business and it allows the IRS to identify and keep track of your business's tax status. So it's going to be required if you want to open up a business bank account, hire employees and also file taxes. You guys can get this EIN number free of charge online at the IRS website or you guys can apply through mail. The next step is to hire a registered agent and this is basically the person or business that's responsible for sending and receiving important letters and legal documents on your behalf, such as tax forms, lawsuits, and government correspondence. In order for somebody to be a registered agent, they have to be a full-time resident in the state of Iowa. So this could be you, an employee, or an actual registered agent service. I don't recommend having yourself as a registered agent because then your name, your address, and your information is gonna be available online. And you're also gonna have to be available at all times to receive all these documents. So that's why Northwest is so good, right? They're gonna give you a free registered agent for the first year. And yeah, normally this service costs around 100 to 150 dollars per year. But yeah, there are some steps to follow after you form your LLC. But now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually bypass all these seven steps by using a third party service like Northwest Registered Agent. And again, if you use our link down below, you can follow along with this tutorial and get access to the exclusive discount. So if you use the link down below, you guys can get started with just $39 for their business formation service. So I'll go ahead and click on get started right here. And now it's going to take me to this page where I can form a new company. So it's going to ask me what type of business I'd like to start. For this, I'm going to go ahead and choose LLC, but you can also start a corporation or nonprofit corporation using Northwest Registered Agent. And then down here, you guys can choose what state that you're trying to form in. So obviously for this, we're gonna choose Iowa. And so as you guys can see, it's $50 for the standard processing time. This is the mandatory filing fee in Iowa. And if you guys want it to be faster, then you can pay $85 to be processed in three days and $125 to be processed in one day. Down here, you guys can also have them file your BOI or the Beneficial Ownership Information Report for you. This is super important. So make sure that you don't forget about this. And from here, I'll click on continue. Then it's going to ask me what I want to name the business. So I can put whatever I want here. You also have the option to send a copy of lawsuits and legal notices to your attorney. For now, I'll just have it set to no. And down here, you can list the purpose of your business. You guys can also just click on this to use the generic business purpose. And down here where it asks you which address you want to choose, I recommend just choosing the registered agent's address. Next is going to ask you for your company management. So again, most of you guys are going to be member managed. But if you guys are manager managed, then you guys can click on this. And down here, this is where you'd enter in all the information on the members. Then it's 
can ask you for your contact details. So just your name, your phone number, the country you're from, as well as your mailing address. Then from there, it's gonna ask you to set up an account. So you're gonna enter in your email address and create a password. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna set up your business identity. So with this, they're gonna provide you everything to instantly stand up your business with the domain name registration, a website, a business email address, as well as a business phone number. It's a free 90 day trial and you guys can cancel at any time. But for now, I'll just click on no. Then it's gonna ask you for any other optional items. So if you guys want any of the business identity stuff or down here, if you guys want them to get your tax ID number, this is gonna cost an additional $50 if you do have your social security number. But again, like I said, you could just get the AIN number completely free on the IRS website. You guys can also get the S Corporation election with the IRS. If you guys are interested, we have other videos on this channel that's gonna cover the S Corp election. So this is only gonna to apply to you if your business is making over $40,000 per year. And down here, you guys have other additional options like mail forwarding as well as the trademark service. But for now, I'll just leave all this blank and then click on continue. And then from here, all I have to do is just enter in my card information and then click on done. From there, Northwest Registered Agent is gonna do everything for me. They're gonna file all the paperwork. They're gonna maintain compliance and they're gonna make sure that all the paperwork with the state is filed correctly. So yeah, as you guys can see, the process was super easy. It's super affordable as well. And that's why we recommend it for all new business owners. Now, once you've actually set up your LLC, you're gonna wanna maintain compliance. So you're gonna wanna take some time to search up all the local government regulations. So we're not gonna go over all the different business licenses and permits required because this does vary from state to state. So yeah, just make sure you take the time to do research on whether or not your business will need licenses. And again, we'll leave a link down below where you guys can get more information. If you're a first time entrepreneur, we highly recommend just consulting a professional service and they're gonna be able to figure out all the different licenses that your business needs. All LLCs in the state of Iowa need to file a biennial report. This could be done either online or through mail. If you do it online, it's gonna be cheaper and a lot easier. So this is what we recommend. And yeah, this report is gonna be due during odd numbered years by April 1st. There's no late fees, but if you do miss your filing deadline, your business could be automatically dissolved if the report is not submitted within 60 days. And the next thing you're gonna wanna consider is opening up a business bank account. This is gonna allow you to separate your personal assets from your business assets, which is really, really important. And you're also gonna wanna consider getting a business credit card. This is gonna make the accounting and bookkeeping a lot easier at the end of the year when you have to pay taxes. And yeah, if you guys are wondering what business credit card to get, we'll leave a link down below to all of our favorite ones. The next thing after that is to consider hiring an accountant. This person is gonna help you save a lot of money on taxes for your LLC. They're gonna help you avoid any penalties and any late fees. And it's also gonna be able to allow you to track your profits and your losses in your business. As far as tax filing requirements in the state of Iowa, you might be required to file one or more forms of state tax depending on what your business is. And there's also employer taxes. So with this, I recommend just using a software like ADP or Gusto. Then when it comes to the annual tax filing, this is gonna be done through the form 1065 or form 1040 if you're a single member LLC. And last but not least, you also have the BLY report, which is a new requirement. So if you formed your LLC before 2024, this is gonna be due on January 1st of 2025. But if you form your LLC in 2024, this is gonna be due within 90 days of your creation. There are specific rules on whether or not you have to file this BOI report, as well as what should be reported in this filing. But we're not gonna go over too much in this video, otherwise the video would be too long. And I know I'm going through these slides a little bit fast, but you guys can pause the video anytime you want to read through it. But anyways, that's all for how to set up an LLC in the state of Iowa. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. And again, we'll leave links down below to all the different platforms that we talked about, including Northwest Registered Agent. And yeah, if you guys got some value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. This channel is dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.